All right, so as I continue with the refined painting, it's coming along nicely, but what I'm going to do is actually flip all these layers Just rotate them horizontally and then work on it a little bit in the reverse angle, just like you can see. Stick to the refined painting, but I can see where this jaw I can push out a little bit further here. Come on, there. I have it dipping in a little too much. This shoulder can also come up, should come up. Shadows, sometimes it's just easier to see it from a different angle. Shadows on the flower. around the, the collar of the shirt. We have a bias towards the left or right side, right? And so it's good to mix it up every once in a while. Especially when it comes to framing the face. Remember, you can put dark values in with some bright colors, especially red is very helpful for that. You don't always have to just use really dingy colors for the darks. Purples, reds, even dark green sometimes. Can be helpful. In fact, I think I might want to go to a dark green, so let me see. In here, let's see the shadow I'm missing. I've been ignoring. The reds contrast nicely with those dark greens. Compliments. So once I've reversed it, it's another time to do a value check. Kind of see where your lights are light, where they should be. Darks are dark. Recognize that I'm missing out on some shading in the lips. That can be helpful. I'm just push it back and forth. I'm really trying not to zoom in yet. My ideal would not be having to zoom in at all, but because it's such a high resolution, I am going to have to look at it at full resolution and resolve it at that point, probably when I'm, when I'm making decisions about the backgrounds and the final kind of composition of the portrait, not just the, the painting of the face. Painting the face is hard enough. There's all this other stuff to make it into a complete work that's necessary. I feel. I don't want to ignore.
All right, I might also erase the chance I can use this kind of softening brush. The first time I've used anything soft, I can erase a little bit from my refined painting layer because I've pushed it out a little bit too much in some areas. And this should really be more closely cut into the head. And then it flares out a little bit, something like that. <laughs> no, that, that looks silly. But if I take that selection and then I use the soft eraser, kind of cut away from it. That will help. Yeah, it's the thinness of that that I'm missing. So this actually can go down quite a bit more. First in the base painting. And then in the refined painting. All right. Now the nose. Steal some of these transitional oranges from the Van Gogh portrait by Toulouse Lautrec. Which gets me away from all those pinks that I started out with. But the pinks are still there, they're still helpful. But it's good to broaden it out. A little dark. So yeah, not being afraid of just adding texture. Combining warms and cools and complements, especially in this area where the five o'clock shadow would happen. Ah, such combinations of warms and cools are pretty helpful. I stay on the color I want. You see Photoshop's been working a whole lot better since I restarted it. It's not lagging on me like it was before. Probably shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> now I'm trying to save it.
So now that I've worked with it a little bit that way, I can reverse them again, select them all with Shift, Command T, flip horizontal. Same thing with my reference. Select all, Command T, flip horizontal. Get the little mirror image. And now I feel like I can play more with the lighting. So I'm just making it richer and richer as I go. So I'll call this demo flipping horizontal to check. So let's just look at what these layers are doing. So there's my base painting. And there's my refined painting over the top. And then there's my sketch over the top of that. There's definitely parts of the sketch that could probably be lightened and reduced that aren't as helpful. Like up here. Um, this, this is what pushed my painting out. <laughs> In the ear. Other areas, I got to work on this chin a little bit more still. Need his name there. Because I have the sketch layer on multiply, even the, um, the grayness of the paper is darkening my my image somewhat. Let's see. But it's actually it's helpful in most most respects. Painting on the wrong layer. Hazard of any digital painting. Go ahead and lock these other layers. I only had to unlock them to flip them. Yeah, I'm liking the colors in the hair. This is going in some nice directions. I don't want to shy away from it. The lips are mostly working, but I can push the value a little bit in these corners. Keep telling yourself color is not your enemy. It livens up a lot of this. <laughs> 